ladies and gentlemen, there are three men in status whom William Samoe Ruto is seriously using them, planning his mission when it comes to the next politics of 2027, politically speaking. When you look, someone called Farouk Kibet is a man that does not have even an office in status. He doesn't have any office in this Kenya Kwanza government. But when you look the way the Kenya Kwanza members of parliament are coming out to praise this man, there's something secret behind this Farouk Kibet as the main, of course, person that William Ruto is always using him to, of course, survey everything in the state house. I listened to a certain video of members of parliament from Kenya Kwanza, um, Kenya Kwanza government, and a bigger percentage of them, these are members of parliament who are coming from the mountain. And according to what I listened to them saying, they say this. Farouk, Farouk, wanafikiria ni mtu utaenda upate ako na ofisi from moja pale kwa rais wetu. Huyu Farouk ni mtu tafauti. Hata hao watu watu wakuandika magazeti, hawajui waandika anaitwa nani. Ni mtu ako na responsibility. I works hard. Lakini you cannot go somewhere na useme hii ndio ofisi ya Farouk. <laughs> ofisi ya Farouk ni penye Farouk ako. Muruko menalikosea kusema ati ofisi ya Farouk ni kwenye Farouk ako. Mimi naona ofisi ya Farouk hata ni ile ya rais wetu wa Kenya. Kwa sababu uwezi fikia rais Farouk akisema no. Hata huyu deputy rais na rafiki yangu kufikia yeye Farouk lazima aseme yes. Lakini huyu Farouk sio mtu wa kiburi ni mtu wa kunyorosha kazi. Tulikuwa tunaenda mkutano ya campaign ukiona iko disorder kidogo unaanza kuulizana wapi Farouk wapi Farouk Huyu Kibet Farouk ananikumbusha Martin Luther King Jr. Mwenye alisema ukipewa kuwa sweeper sweep mpaka mbinguni imbe iseme there lived a great sweeper ni kiongozi wetu wa maana sana na niseme ukweli kwa ushindi wa William Ruto na sisi alichangia kiasi kikubwa sana Kwa sababu tulisema hatupanguingwi lakini tulipatia Farouk Kibet nafasi atupange. Kazi yenye alipewa alianzia tu kupanga sisi ndio tuongee mzuri kwa mkutano na kukaa vizuri kwa ofisi. Anapanga mpaka kila mtu hata naibu wa rais wakati alikuwa anaanza ofisi yake juzi anasema na munitafutie Farouk yangu kwenye atakuwa hapa. Hata nilikuwa nimemwambia rais Ruto aniwachie yeye apage mambo yangu akaniruka. Akasema anahitaji yeye nitafute yangu na mimi natafuta. Lakini nimeambia Farouk nikitafuta yangu atanifanyia training 6 months ashike laini ndio aweze kuendelea mbele. Na ndio nimesikia sasa mnaitaka hapa kwa boma yake ati anatoa sukari kunia moja. Saa ingine anapea watu. Sipa hiyo wakati alikuwa mtu ya mkono ya deputy president. Sasa Farouk si ni mtu ya mkono ya rais. Akiwa deputy president mtu ya mkono ya deputy president. Si alikuwa anatoa gunia moja ya ya sukari. Sasa akiwa mtu ya mkono ya rais. Si atoe gunia moja ya sukari na gunia moja ya mahidi. Na ogeze moja ya uga ya gano. Hata maziwa mchukue. Na ikiwezekana akiwa na ngombe, pia mkisikia kuna dama amepatikana anapanga. Hiyo ndiyo bottom up. Dama inachukuliwa na shika kijana ya area hii anampea dama moja analea. Sindio? Wewe Faruk Mungu akubariki sana. Na bariki watoto yako na familia yako. Tunakutakia mema na kwa niaba ya watu wetu wote. Watu wa hapa kwa hii mtoto wenu tunasema asanti. Na nimesema mara mingi kama alikuwa mkali sana. You can understand now the reason why Faruk Kibet is the man that William Ruto is depending on when it comes to everything in state house. You've listened even to a certain member of parliament coming out to say that even regarding a shower, if he wants to see William Samuruto in state house, he must reach out to Farouk Kibet first 
or else things might not be on a uh, right direction. When you look at to another man called Felix Koske. Felix Koske is the man behind the bars. As just the other day, not even the other day, yesterday, there was a news that a certain function that was being transferred from the office of the Attorney General, Justin Muturi, to the office of the Public Service Commission, Head of Public Service Commission, that is uh, Felix Kuske. I think I've been confusing these individuals, you know. But again, when you look at what is going on, where we are being told, I want to correct something that is very complex. Felix Kuzge is the president's head of staff. Now, when you look at William Ruto's suggestion to come out and to transfer the public seal to the office of the head of staff in the state house, in simple terms, William Ruto is transferring the seal, the public seal, from the office of the attorney general to the state house. And the man that is going to take control towards that public seal, it is the mind, the, the man of William Samuel Ruto. That is Felix Kosge. And Felix Kosge, when you look at even him giving the speech, this is the man that William Ruto, even if people will come out to attack him, William Ruto will come out to defend him. So Felix Kosge is this man. I'm saying this because his second president is determined to ensure that his government is a functioning government. His government is devoid of corruption. He wants to see a government that is respected, a government that is responsive to the needs and the requirements of the people of Kenya and those who have visited Kenya. So in real sense, that is number two. Man who is behind the bars that William Samuel Ruto is busy using. We are having another man called Davis Churchill. Davis Churchill was also a cabinet minister during the regime of Uhuru Megai Kenyatta. When Davis Churchill was being fired, when it comes to scandal that was reported to the president, Uhuru Megai Kenyatta, after the report was finalized, they found that Davis Churchill engaged himself in corruption and scandals. So he was to step down. In other words, like he was being fired. After being fired, this man remained uh, the man of William Samuel Ruto. From, the, from Rift Valley. And that is why immediately William Ruto took over as the president. Davis Churchill was appointed to be the cabinet minister of energy. You've seen the kind of scandals that this man has been, of course, named when it comes to the energy sector. This 19 billion oil saga. But at the same time, this man has been named in different scandals across the Republic of Kenya, William Ruto is a man that has been always adamant, not even to react towards uh, the mistakes and problems, or rather the accusation of Davis Chishir. Just the other day, when William Samuel Ruto attended a church service in Bomet County, when Davis Chishir came out starting to address the congregants, people came out heckling him. And William Ruto never came out hesitating, defending Davis Churchill. Naona muna pigia kelele waziri wangu Davis. Muna sema aja wapanga na stima. Waja ni wambia story. Sindio? Sasa hiyo maneno ya stima. Hapa bomet. Watu 
50% ya bomet 81,150 people tumawekea stima sasa ile imebaki hiyo 50% ingine mimi naelewa na nitapanga na huyu Davis amesikia vile mmesema maawa kasi ange na ale gur waji ole kate nyigizi jerob ko ko amuite kidogo after defending Davis Churchill, I wanted to understand that William Samuel Ruto is busy defending these three men because these three men are going to assist him to recapture the seat. I know some people will say that I'm daydreaming because these three men cannot deliver the presidency. Yes, because when they join together as a group, they might take it by the way they came out taking it. And even when you ask any Kenyan how these people took over this presidency, they cannot explain because election was not free and fair. At the same time, I want you to understand that as William Ruto is having his people on board, he is also busy marking those cabinet ministers who are not his tribe. And that is why, for example, when you look at the Ministry of Luck, we are having a cabinet minister there who is coming from the mountain, that is Alice Wahome. But again, William Ruto wanted to mark the cabinet minister. What he did, he appointed Nixon Korir to be the PS, Principal Secretary of the land. And Nixon Korir was a former member of Parliament of Langata, where now Yalango is the member of parliament of Langata. So William Ruto marked Alice Wahome. When you look at the foreign affair, the ministry of foreign affair, William Ruto also marked the cabinet minister, that is Musali Mdabadi, but initially it was Alfred Mutua. He came out marking that ministry by appointing his tribe, that is Dr. Simwe, who is now reporting to him everything when it comes to the issue of foreign affairs. And this is applied to every docket. Look at the Ministry of Education, where we are having the minister who is coming from the, I think, Nyamira, Nyanza region, Machogu. And when William Ruto came out appointing Machogu, he came out marking Machogu by appointing Bilio Kipsa, who is now the principal secretary of the education. So the reality is William Samuel Ruto is busy planting his people by giving them and adding them more function that is going to enable them to be strong when it comes to the actions of the Kenya Kwanzaa government. So the reason why he's coming to do so just yesterday when William Ruto came out transferring the public seal from the office of the Attorney General Justin Muturi to the office of the head of staff, that is, was, uh, uh, it is simply status, the only reason this regime wants to change custodian of public uh, seal from Attorney General, that is Justin Muturi, to head of public service, signifies early preparation of refusal to hand over power in case they lose in 2027. So the current holder is also the president's head of staff. So something that I have realized with William Samaruto is a man that is calculating on how he's going to push her that if any case, Kenyans are not going to re-elect him, then he's going to do it by force, by fire. And he's a man that is showing a kind of uh, indication that he is not, he is not, he is not going to hand over. But at the same time, the public sale signifies the ultimate authority and endorsement of a particular decision with the full authority or, or for example, the concurrence of the government. I want to say that uh, Kenyans must come out, rather resist, this wrong move to avoid the bloodshed in future because William Ruto wants to capture everything 
that in the next future general election, it is William Ruto and it is him. And secondly, is looking for to ensure that also IEBC is going to be his part. And they, this is how William Ruto is playing this game. And to ensure that in the next general election he's going to take it. And that is some issues is so adamant. So that he's going to revamp later the day when we are approaching the next general election or campaigning. That is why you see William Ruto dishing a lot of money trying to confuse Kenyans. So the reality and the call here is William Ruto, as he is continuing to use these three people, Farouk Kudet, Felix Kuske, Davis Chuchi, though even if they are having scandals, William Ruto is using them, I think, and at the same time, these people are coming from his tribe. And when look, even uh, the cabinet ministers, or rather the chair of uh, boards or parastatals, you'll find that a bigger percentage of them are coming from the region of William Somaruto. So these people are busy gathering money for the next general election. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.